Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you how on your Mac computer, if you have a wired keyboard and a wired mouse that is connected to your Mac, and you'd like to get rid of some of those wires just to tidy up the desk, make it look a little bit cleaner, I'm going to show you how you can connect an Apple Magic Mouse or a trackpad or the wireless keyboard to your Mac computer and how to go through all those steps in order to get any of those devices connected. Now this will help you out so that you don't have all these wires and you can just plug in new batteries or charge them up if they need it. You can move the keyboard around, you can move the mouse around, and you don't have to worry about the wire and it holding you back from working from a distance. So, let's go over to the computer and I'll show you all the steps that you need to take in order to do that. Okay, so I have my wired keyboard and my wired mouse connected to this Mac and they work and I don't have any problems with them, I just don't want to have all the wires. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got to make sure we have Bluetooth turned on on the Mac. So you're going to click on the Apple menu and then you're going to go down to System Preferences unless you have one of the newer Macs and you want to be looking for Settings. So I'm going to go into System Preferences and then you can either search and you can just go up to the top. It'll either be on the top right or the top left of that window and you can type in Bluetooth and you can just click on it or you can just click on the icon that's Bluetooth. It'll show it to you either way. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on Bluetooth and it opens it right up for me. Now here, if you'll notice, my Bluetooth is turned off. Now yours may be turned on and if it is, you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to go ahead and turn my Bluetooth on. Okay, so it's got my Bluetooth turned on and it's looking for devices. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the mouse. Now, this will work on any of Apple's wireless magic mouses, the, the first one or the second one, because this one just happens to be the one that takes the batteries, but it'll work on the one where you can recharge it as well. You'll have a little slider here that turns it on or off. So currently mine is turned off because it's in the down position. So I'm going to go ahead and press it up and you should get a little green light right there. Now you also want to make sure that if this is one of the first ones that takes batteries, that you put a fresh pair of batteries in so it'll keep working. So if you'll notice on my Mac, it came up and it showed me IT101's mouse. Oh, and it also wants me to pair. So I'm going to go ahead and click pair right here. You could also click the pair right here as well, but I'm going to go ahead and click pair. And then there you go. Now, if you'll notice it's connected, but if you'll see it's working great. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how we can connect the trackpad. So on the trackpad, again, this is the one where it already it has the batteries and I put a fresh pair of batteries in it. If you have the second version of this, make sure it's charged up with the cable that you would use to charge your phone. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press the button on the side and then you want to look for the little light and it should start flashing. And then in just a second, it should pop up. There it is. IT 101's trackpad and I'm going to click on pair. Okay, now it's connected. So if I'll start moving the trackpad around, you can see it actually moves the mouse on the computer too. So that's how you would get that one connected. Now the last one is the keyboard. And again, same thing with this keyboard. If you have the first ones, make sure that you have fresh pair of batteries in it. If not, make sure that it's charged up with that same cable that you use to charge your phone. And then you want to press the button on the side and it should turn it on and it'll have a little green light and it should start flashing. And then if you'll notice, there's the keyboard right there and you can click on pair. Now I did want to show you, oh, there we go. With the keyboard, 
you actually have to type in some numbers. So I'm going to put in 119892, and then you have to remember to press the enter key. That's how it knows that you connected to the correct keyboard. Okay, so now I have all three of those connected. But let's say you didn't like the name of one of those devices. Okay, so all you have to do is you can take either the wired mouse or the wireless mouse and go and select the one you don't like the name for. So let's just say you don't like the keyboard name. So you can hold down the control button on your keyboard and click on it, which will give you a little menu, and you can click on rename. And there you go. You can change the name of the keyboard right there. So anything that you type in here and click rename, that's what it's going to name it for you. So maybe you move this keyboard, mouse, or trackpad from another computer to this one. Well, that'll let you rename it so it can be your keyboard, mouse, or trackpad. So that hopefully will be helpful for you if you want to make it yours. Now, another thing you can do while you're in here is if you do the same thing, control and click on it, you can disconnect the device and you can also remove a device. So that might be helpful too. Maybe you just want to disconnect it for some reason. You want to connect it to a different computer temporarily. Well, you can just go ahead and disconnect it from your computer so another computer can connect to it and use it for just a little bit of time. But if you know you're not going to use that mouse or trackpad or keyboard ever again, or you just need to set it up again for some reason, you can go ahead and remove it. And then you can go back through those same steps of repairing your keyboard, mouse, or trackpad back to your Mac computer. So I hope that was helpful on how you can get the Apple wireless keyboard, the Apple trackpad, and the Apple wireless magic mouse connected to your Mac computer. And that should work for all the Mac computers, the iMac, the Mac Mini, the Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, any Mac you could think of that should work for. If you have any questions about this or any other video that I put up, please let me know down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back to you about that. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that in the comments below as well. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, please hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how to connect all your Apple wireless keyboard, mouse, and trackpad to your Mac computer. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.